sheets and don't know how to please me. Bodies on bodies on bodies on bodies. I'm going to be honest with you. This is a very horrible way on selling. It's cool to be a whore. You know what I mean? Like, this is a horrible way. Like, bodies on bodies on bodies on bodies. That just sounds like an STD. Whoa. Says, say he fucked Megan. Now he the topic. These niggas think they lowered the value. All this free promo. I'm turning a profit. Hey, when niggas be kissing and telling. Say he a player, but he in his feelings. But I won't give up the pussy again. Shit should have gave it to his friend. These hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes be mad at Megan's law. I don't know what really what the problem is. I really no, I don't really know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all, y'all don't want me to start. Now, this line is a clear disrespect, and you know, uh, it's a jugular shot to Nicki Minaj. We're gonna see where this uh thing really turned into a whole like Nicki Minaj was unhinged after that. Now, uh just to let you know, Megan's Law is a federal law in the United States that requires law enforcement to make information available to the public regarding sexual offenders. So if you have been convicted of a sexual crime, uh, um, according to Megan's Law, you're going to have to register. And when you register via Megan's Law, your whereabouts or where you're living has to be open and known to everybody in that community for their safety of their kids. OK, and themselves as well. Right. Says, uh, it says, this is likely a shot. Okay, cool. Now, this is Kenneth Petty's. Um, this is his California Megan Laws website. And, and you know, remember he, uh, at first he was actually either locked back up or he had got brought back to court because Nicki Minaj bought a house. And even though she's his husband, it doesn't absorb, uh, um, absolve him from his past transgressions or what he pled guilty to. He didn't register and he got in trouble for it. And then, you know, he did the whole thing with offset. Then he's, I think he's still on like a house arrest, maybe. Uh, however, he has to register. And unfortunately, this is one of the reasons why Nicki Minaj's address keep getting doxxed. Because uh, unless his permanent residence doesn't happen to be one that is Nicki Minaj, they, he has to, there has to list a address there. Now, you can't really cheat the system. This is not like, Yo, going to school in a different district. Like, if he has an address that he doesn't stay at primarily, he could get in trouble for that too. So he has to be truthful about it. Uh, I think later on they did. Um, he did register at the new address where, which he shares with, with Nikki. <clears throat> anyway, um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. He says, "I don't really know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all want me to start." He said, "Bitch, you a pussy. Never finna check me. Every chance you get, bet your weak ass won't address me." Whoa. Oh my God, Jesus! Now this is a very ironic and I uh, is an ironic line. Nicki Minaj did a lot of addressing last night, and Meg did not respond back. No, Nicki did a lot of addressing. You didn't respond afterwards. Anyway, said bitches swear they G, but the G must stand for goofy. When the fuck did all the gangster niggas turn to groupies? Everybody want to kick it when you're in a threat. These niggas don't like me because they know I'm on their neck, okay? It says, y'all goofy assholes look so dumb. Every time y'all celebrate fake news, ha, using my name for likes and views. I don't give a fuck what y'all make trend. Bitch, I still win. Then she says, nigga, you ain't here? I ain't scared of dick. Any man go against me, I handle shit. Jesus Christ. I'm Teflon Don in the courtroom, yeah. They be throwing that dirt. Don't shit stick. All these little rap niggas so fraud. Xanax be they hardest bars. These niggas hate on BBLs walking around with the same scars. Real curvy, no edging. Niggas fight to get in my section. Don't speak on my body count if the dick ain't work coming back for seconds. Cosplay gangsters, fake ass accents, posted in another nigga hood like a bad bitch. Says, I'm a big dog, bitch. Can't little sis me. Hoes get views when they try to diss me. Make one move, got him in a tizzy. Killing shit? That's why they trying to rip me. Still going hard with the odds against me. These niggas don't have fans. They bots. These bitches don't have ass. They shots. That's interesting. Does Meg have surgery? Or am I tripping? Does Meg have surgery? And by the way, I'm going to go back up to those lines that clearly were meant. Um, um, I'm going to go back to those lines that were clearly meant for drake right like for example these lines which by the way you know drake drake had had a line drake this meg he had a line called 
Yeah. On her loss, he had a line where he says, where was the line? He says, it was on a Circle Loco. He raps, this bitch lied about getting shots, but she's still a stallion, right? You obviously don't make the stallion, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Meg did get on Instagram and said, yo, stop using stop using my shooting for clout, bitch-ass niggas. Since when the fuck is it cool to joke about a woman getting shot? You niggas, especially rap niggas, are lame. Ready to boycott about shoes and clothes, but dogpiling a black woman when she say one of y'all homeboys abused her, okay? All right. So this is her response back, I guess, lyrically to Drake. She's saying these niggas... Hate on BBLs, walking around with the same scars, real curvy, no edgy niggas fight to get in my section. Now, th this obvious line here, um, I don't know necessarily how the front part hate on BBLs. Like, does Drake have a song not liking BBLs? Huh? Does, uh, even though I think people are saying, well, she's directly responding to the line Drake did, where Drake says, this bitch lie about getting shots. I don't know if Drake has ever hated on BBLs. I think Drake like BBLs, BBWs. He like everything with a BB. He might like a Blackberry. Who knows? So, I don't know if Drake has hated on BBLs, but people do attribute this part to Drake, which is um, hate on BBLs, but walking around with the same scars. Now, it's been long rumored that Drake supposedly went to Dr. Miami, you know what I mean? Like, he had a little gut or something like that. He had, he had that big act pouch, and then he just got that shit carved the fuck up on the, uh, on the table. And I guess people look at it because they're like, yo, this nigga don't even look normal. Like, you know what I mean? Again, I don't know. I don't want to, like, as much as I like Drake, I don't want to be the guy who's watching how his body is sculpted. I'm good. But uh, we've heard Joe Budden before in the past rap that about Drake. Joe Budden diss Drake lyrics. Like, you know, uh, it might have been making a murderer. Was it making a murder? Where Joe Budden, I think he was the first person who ever said it. Uh, let me see. Where is it? No, mate. Uh, uh, which song was it? Y'all probably know more than me. Which song was it? <laughs> Somebody said his body, his choice. <laughs> Hilarious. His body, his choice. <laughs> uh no, oh, it's 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 wake, right? No, it's wake. It's wake. Joe Budden wake lyrics. Okay. Where is that? Hold on, I'm gonna find it. It's something about Dr. Miami. Maybe it's what am I afraid of? Joe Budden. What am I afraid of? No, it's afraid. Okay, all right, that's what it's called. Uh, Miami? No, what? Is it this? I just want to get to the. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, this is Drake. No, this is Joe Button dissing Drake. Remember, he dropped three diss songs at, at Drake. Drake never really responded. This is after like I think either Stace. Uh, um. Um. No shopping or, like, no stylist. One of them, and Joe just went ballistic. Drake was on tour, and Drake just clowned him. He never really responded. Joe dropped three of the songs back to back to back. I, I thought, like, two of them were hard. But J Drake was just like, nah, I'm not about to respond to you. Anyway, in one of the diss songs, Joe Button is the first time I heard about it. You can tell me if you heard about it before. Basically, it, it says, like,
Yo, uh, he says, C, some of us know you as Jimmy, barely old. He had the baby belly fro. Nigga was frailed up in his clothes. Barely got a hold and it seemed very out of control. Wish we could go back and grab the Blackberry with a scroll. Oh, yeah, Aubrey, that's the one we trusted. Not this new Aubrey with his stomach sculpted. I'm disgusted. You're such a fucking incumbent. Can't govern. Trust in public becoming a fucking puppet. I think this might have been the only part. Um, but the stomach sculpted part was uh, very, like, people were like, what do you mean stomach sculpted? Right? So Joe did have a tweet. I don't know if he deleted it. Look like it's still up. It says irrelevant rappers is greater than rappers who get lipo twice. So I think that's when people were like, oh, so, you know, Drake is going and getting under the knife to get fat sucked out of his stomach because he want to have that eight pack or whatever the case is. This is the first time we ever heard about these things. You get what I mean? Um, what do y'all think about that? I, I mean, necessarily, like, I don't really like to judge how uh, other men, like, carry their bodies. G granted, I'm not in the best shape, period. So it's like whether somebody worked out for it or got under a knife. Well, I, actually, I guess I would probably because I wouldn't get on a knife. Nah. Or maybe I'm just, like, copping a plea for Drake because you don't like Drake. Is that kind of gay? Is that kind of, like, bro. I ain't gonna lie. There was a video of, like, Funk Flex getting fat, like, sucked out of, like, his stomach. Yo, that should disturb me, bro. Somebody said, y'all calling it a BBL. That's the gay part. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. So, it's kind of like the Batman Kevo thing, right? Everybody knows Batman Kevo. Batman Kevo. Well, I, I hate to type BBL, but, like, that's the thing that, um, you know, is... Yeah. Anyway. Oh, uh, shit. Let me see. This was Bad Man Kevo was like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, he, he got his body done and everything like that. If you're wondering how it looked before they do it, they basically wrote on his stomach and created this, and then they gave him the surgery. But I, he said it's not a BBL. He got ab and waist liposuction, and I think they might have, like, pushed fat or, or some of the fat into creating a pectoral region. I, I don't know exactly what happened, but he, he did tell me about, by the way, I have a lot. Batman Kevin offered me, he said, act, I want to pay for you and like two other celebrities to, to get their body done. And I, I keep telling you, I'm so pussy. First of all, I'm scared of needles. But second of all, imagine like, you know, I, I, I have these horror stories, you know, God rest uh, Don the West, which is Kanye West's mom. Imagine dying on a motherfucking Dr. Miami cold, metal table where they're just fucking stabbing shit into you just to suck out some fat okay listen people call me fat online i, I i'll deal with that more than trying to change my body by getting a bunch of shit put i don't know bro somebody said money bag yo got it money bag yo and yeah no honestly i wouldn't do that bro I, I'm, I'm really scared that it, it, i don't even think i'm that opposed to the surgery necessarily i just think that i'm like the one percent i try this shit i'm dead you get what i mean um, you know, I've been trying to work on a little bit of diet recently. Uh, again, you know, for me, I, the, the more healthier lifestyle I live, you know, I won't be doing late night stress eating type shit. And hopefully, you know, I lose weight. But, you know, again, uh, I, I am still on the mission of trying to create a good energy around me, which hopefully will lead to some weight loss. Right. Uh, somebody says Drake went on a f got a fat transfer. Now, here's the difference. A liposuction. And I don't know if there's any uh, chat queens in here who have got this procedure. Because I feel like it's almost common now, like, women are getting, like, either these fat transfers, which a fat transfer normally is a B. Well, a fat transfer usually into your butt is a is a BBL. So, usually, they'll take it from your sides or other fatty regions on your body, maybe your inner thighs, and they'll put it in the buttocks. And that's what a BBL is. Now, here's the thing. Maybe this is why they were calling uh, what Batman Kevo did a BBL, because I do think they took fat from certain places and may have put it somewhere in his pecs or somewhere they, they allocated somewhere. So people are calling any fat transfer a
BL, which I don't think technically that's right, but people are looking at it like, yo, as a dude, you shouldn't be getting fat transfer. That just sounds kind of moist, right? Um, uh, Joe getting, I mean, Drake getting it done twice. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I have like a telltale sign. I got like a telltale sign of when I know a nigga done got, I'm going to, for lack of a better term, I'm going to call it the BBL surgery. Anytime one of these niggas who are usually skinny fat get one of these surgeries, they're in the gym acting like they're LeBron James, nigga. They're acting like they've been working out every day. Like, they, they always start showing you them in the gym. Like, I know exactly when Moneybag Yo got it because Moneybag Yo was acting like, yo, he was in the gym every day. You know what I mean? This nigga was in the gym like, yeah, I got time today. This nigga was like, lift his two, like, it was like 20 on each side. I'm like, yo, cut the malarkey. Look, Moneybag Yo gym. <laughs> Somebody said, Kevo looks. I ain't gonna lie, Kevo definitely walked in and said, yo, I want the action figure look. Well, women like this look, right? So I said, abs are muscles, so fat wouldn't help with that. I, I think women like this, like, this, like, you know, action figure look. Let me see. <laughs> this is hilarious. Moneybag Yo shows off his gym gains. Yo, the only thing I would say, hey, so chat, I, and I've only seen this in Miami airport. Anybody been to Miami? Yo, when you're going through Miami TSA, especially on that Monday, because they usually go either Monday or sometimes on a Friday. When you're leaving out of that airport, because I guess a lot of women build, uh, um, book their mommy makeover or they book their BBL surgery and they got to be there a certain time. So you usually see the influx of people come in the same time and leave the same time. Man, I saw a line of women. They're all in wheelchairs. Like, I, I thought it was something wrong with them until I realized they all got these girdles on and these cushions underneath them. And I was like, oh, shit, this is a line of women who just got the surgery, right? Yeah, I remember when Moneybag Yo was like, actually a little pudgy. For a second, I was confused. I'm like, how do these niggas go to the gym for like four days and they ripped as a motherfucker? Moneybag Yo, fat. It was never like, like yeah, it was kind of like this. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, not much definition. He's not like finesse two times type shit, but like he wasn't like, you know what I mean? Yo, I'm a bodybuilder type shit. Until like the new gym pictures and clearly he's on some bodybuilding time. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He looks kind of fit here. Is there like a side effect of this shit? So as the lean makes you fat? Let's see what he got going. That you must take. You gotta have that mindset <coughs> that quit. See, that's the thing. A nigga go get a surgery and they got the they got the motivational shit talking about they've been working out forever. You really don't know. You really don't know. Anyway, back to the situation. Okay, so Joe Budden claims that uh, um, Drake got lipo twice, and now we go back to Meg, where Meg is is basically kind of like hinting towards that too saying that he has the same scars as a woman that got a BBL, right? So if you have the same scars, that means they've sucked out fat out of your body at the same places, which is, I think it's a normal same places. I think it's like maybe around stomach area, like thigh or something like that. They've sucked out fat in the same areas they would suck it out for a regular girl wanting a BBL. So I guess she's making fun of Drake, okay? Does Drake look like he's on that shit, though? Let me see. Like, pause. Like, we're not looking at Drake like that, but, like, we're just trying to... You know, uh, try to see if we could verify whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't know. Maybe Drake is on that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I remember when Drake kept posting gym videos. Like, it was him and Ovio Rocks. Drake, Ovio Rocks. But Drake be playing basketball, though, right? Maybe he's natural. This is his trainer here. These have mad workout videos on here. I can't find any right now. These are like boxing videos and all that type of shit. Anyway, all right, whatever. Fuck it. <coughs> cool. It's a real curvy, no edging. Niggas fight to get in my section, right? He says, don't speak on my body count if the dick ain't worth coming back for seconds. You see, this is like an odd like way how Meg is trying to get us to like buy into this 
shit like are we supposed to like give you credit because you're like having one night stands uh, like she's trying to like she's trying to like make this be believable you know what i mean she says cosplay gangsta